<laughs> they're both spotlights. Oh, there. I couldn't hear you guys. Oh, How's it going? Well, so good to Hi. see you. Hi. How are you doing? Same. We're good. We're really Look good. You in your pink suit. Pink suit. <laughs> Love it. Yes. Really power, cute. Power suit. Power suit. <laughs> power. The new power suit, a pink suit. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you so much for doing this with us. We're really excited. Oh, our pleasure. Thanks yeah. for having us. Of course. Um, the collection does so well at the store. Of course, our customers just just love it. I personally wear so much of it. Um, so we're excited to do our first event together. Yeah, I know. It's been a long time coming, right? I know. I know. And how are, are I know you all are both in New York. Um, how is everything? Are you all? Good. I mean, I talk about that a little New bit. York is raging back to normal. It's, it's crazy. There's, you know, everyone's like out and about. The parks are packed. It's spring oh. here. It's super beautiful. Okay. So everyone's out and enjoying the weather and, you know, having dinner outside. And I think people are just, you know, over it. <laughs> ready. We need this. We, we need a change. Yeah. It's yeah. time. Seriously. It's been a rough year, right? Oh my gosh. It's been a crazy year. To think that that was just a year ago, too. I know. I know. How has it been with the store and business and stuff? You know, it has been, um, you know, like I said, last year was a crazy time, but um, we're reopened, which is great. And, you know, mm -hmm. our customers really helped keep us going last year. So we were like- How, hey, how long were you, how long were you all closed? Five months. Wow. Whoa. Yeah, Whoa. almost half a year. Um, oh, it looks like we have panelists it's two. on. Oh, it's two? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so maybe we'll just- Where exactly are you guys? We're in Oakland. In Oakland, yeah. Yeah, we're just in downtown, um, downtown Oakland. Downtown nice. Oakland, great. You all been to Oakland yet? Yeah, totally. Yeah, I have. I've never been to. I used Oakland. to live out in San Francisco, so. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, it's a special place. Okay. Yeah, no, it's great. And we can. Okay, so we're good. Okay. So we already have several people joined. All right. Yeah. Thank you everyone for joining. We're really excited to have two really special designers of um, one of our favorite brands in the store, Proenza's Schooler, um, Jack and Lazara. Thank you for being with us. Hello. Hi. Hi. Thanks for joining. You can't see anyone, but we're assuming you're there. Yeah, there are <laughs> definitely people on and we have several people that it just keeps joining. Yeah, so it's great. Um, normally we would do something in person but because of the times, this is what we're doing right now. Um, but we also find that, you know, it, it's working and we can actually have conversations, um, a little bit more intimate conversations about the business, the collections, um, what's inspiring you and also being able to see the product with models, we can still do that. Thank yeah. God for Zoom, huh? Thank God for Zoom. Oh, yeah. I feel like I'm 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 ready for that uh, face to face. Yeah, we just talking I about know. That before, um, and it's nice to know that New York is opening right now, and California is opening. Totally, I think people are craving that kind of human interaction. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Going to, going back out, going to parties, seeing friends, having a cocktail, just uh -huh. kind of living life. You know, it's. it's <laughs> We've had, we've had a rough year, everyone, so it's time to kind of celebrate. Time to celebrate. Celebrate that we've made it through or we're, we're making yeah. it through this time. We're still in yeah. it, but I do mm -hmm. feel like we're, we're getting towards the other side of it, which is, um, yeah, it's like, hooray for that. Hooray for yeah, that. Yeah, things are starting to feel a little more optimistic, for sure. Absolutely. Um, well, we were going to get started. So the run of the show... Um, um, what we're doing is something really unique today. So we're actually having um, our virtual trunk show, as we mentioned, and you can actually shop the looks that Jack and Lazaro are gonna talk about. You can shop it. We're gonna have a link that's gonna go up in the chat bar. You can click that link and you can shop it. Or if you have questions about it, we're gonna take questions at the end. Um, but I would love to just know from you two, just to start, like, how did you all get started? How long have you had your, your brand you get started? And how did you two meet? I think that is um, one of the big questions everyone wants to know. Where does the name come from, right? I'm sure that's a question on everyone's yeah. mind. 
Um, Proenza Schooler is, Pro is actually my mother's maiden name and Schooler, people say Schuler, but it's Schooler. We say Schooler. I guess you could say Schuler, but it's Schooler. Proenza Schooler. Um, Schooler is Jack's mother's maiden name. So sort of, you know, a little bit of a tribute to our mothers in a way. <laughs> um, and I, do, do you want to talk about how we started, Jack? Yeah, so we started, uh, we, we went to Parsons together. Um, and you know became close friends over the the four years uh you know we were kind of doing our own thing the first three years from from freshman to junior year you know i was i was doing my work Lazar was doing his but you know at art school you actually people think art school is probably like a walk in the park it's actually we have so many friends that were like pre-med or studying you know medicine or architecture whatever they're like you guys work your asses off there's a lot of like projects that we had to take home so like we'd probably pull like two three all-nighters a week sometimes and you know because you had to pull these all-nighters and had so much work to do we spent a lot of time together i'd stay over at his house or he'd stay over at mine and we'd be doing our projects separately and i think over the course of three years from like you know all this work we were doing um, our, our kind of aesthetic started to blend in a lot of ways. We, you know, we hung out, we're close and um, we started to have the same set of visual references. So by the end of junior year, you know, our, our work actually started looking quite similar and we're like, oh no, we're going to senior year. We've got to do this thesis. We can't compete against each other. Why not just kind of join forces and collaborate? And so um, prior to the senior year starting, uh, we, we spoke to our Dean of Students, who was actually Tim Gunn at the time, who's now, you know, from Project <laughs> Runway, but he was just our Dean of Students at the time. He wasn't all fancy and famous. Um, and we asked him, you know, would, would you be willing to let us collaborate on our senior thesis together? And, you know, it had never been done before. There was never a joint collaboration on a thesis in the history of the fashion department at Parsons and, and he gave the green light and that's kind of the beginning of our collaboration together. And so we, we worked the whole year, did our thesis. Um, we won like the big award at the end of the year. And, um, and you know, to make a long story short, basically the collection got picked up by Barney's, uh, our, senior, our senior thesis collection. Um, we had uh, Julie Gilhart, who was the buyer at Barney's at the time. She was one of the panelists and, and um, she chose us as, you know, designer of the year and she placed an order and kind of the rest is history. And we're still here doing the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little while ago. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give any dates. I don't want to <laughs> guess today. <laughs> it's our first and last job, we hope. Well, it, um, the collection we've been carrying it for, I think three years now, and it just really has resonated with our customers so well. Um, I know you all talk a lot about the woman that you're dressing, um, this, you know, th th this power woman. And I also have on my power pink suit today, which I, I love that. the spring collection. Um, can you talk to us about the woman that you're dressing or if there is a muse that you have when you're designing the collection? Yeah, and I mean, we always say that we make luxury fashion for the intelligent adult urban woman. Um, it's very much, she's sort of like the feminine version of, of, of who we think we are in a way. Um, you know, we're definitely kind of, we, we work all the time. Um, we're urban dwellers. Um, you know, we have an active lifestyle, um, you know, less so this year, but it's starting to kind of get back to what it was. Um, but we just make real clothes, real luxury clothes for real women. Um, and I think the older we get, um, you know, I think the clothes are embedded with, with more of a sense of practicality and ease um, and a luxuriousness. We're very much not into a lot of bells and whistles and superfluous sort of details. We're really into sort of beautiful fabrics, really luxurious um, finishes and just clothes that are just easy to wear and that will last you for, forever. Like we don't believe in, in, you know, an aspect of sustainability is, is, is just things that, you know, it's not only like the actual materials themselves are sustainable, it's, it's, it's the act of, of, of throwing stuff away. We love the idea of being able to buy something and like that jacket you're wearing today, like you'll have that forever. There's nothing, you know, so specific of this specific moment. There, it feels contemporary and modern, but it's also timeless in a way. 
And with that, like the timeless aesthetic connotation, it's not like boring and old and like our parents, <laughs> um, you know, something quite modern and urban and chic about it. But I don't know, it's something that you'll, that you'll hold on forever. And, and we think that's so important these days for someone to part with their hard earned money. something has got to really resonate and it's got to sort of serve a purpose in their lives. Um, and we're, you know, we're very much committed to creating clothes that make women's lives easier that make them feel better, that just make life easier. No one needs things that makes your life more mm -hmm. complicated. Life is complicated enough. Um, so yeah, so that's a little bit of, you know, about the work that we do, especially these days. And I think that's definitely what women are looking for in their wardrobe, you know, ease, comfort, style, of course, but also yeah. things that they're going to have in their closet forever. It's the way I've been dressing for years, you know, yeah. mm -hmm. pull out a Proenza dress from three or four years ago, and it feels just as current today as it did then. Yeah, um, you're going to feel chic and sophisticated, but you know, also comfortable and, and, and be able to move, you know, that's so important. The, day, the days of these, you know, sky high stiletto heels and clothes that are constricting and all that, like it just, you know, not that that will never come back into fashion because who knows, it's, you know, one thing we've learned is you can't predict fashion, but at least right now in this specific moment in time, that doesn't feel especially modern to us. Um, so, you know, effortlessness is something that um, is very much a part of what we do and specifically for that spring collection that you guys have behind you. Um, those are big sort of like theme within the collection. No, I love it. And I have even with the suit I have on um, Birkenstocks. Oh, cool. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I is love the with Birkenstocks. They are. They're the collaborations from <laughs> yeah, the Birkenstocks. Nice. I have on the white ones, but um, but it's funny. We were actually we were working for a while on that collaboration, oh. and then you know we, it was set to launch last March, and then the pandemic hit. And we're like, oh no! Like we've been working so hard on this, and now like we've got to launch this thing. This is the worst timing possible. It turned out to actually be the best timing ever. <laughs> like literally for the first six months of last year, everyone was living in like a slipper or a Birkenstock or a sandal of some sort. And um, it did extremely well. It did so extremely well. We it was a bit of a surprise. And I mean, we sold them immediately. It's just what women <laughs> wanted. They were like, how many colors do you have? <laughs> <laughs> you can't find those shoes anymore. They're no. impossible. And yeah, and I'm still living in them clearly. A year That's before. great. Which color are you wearing? I have on the white ones, the white oh, cool. black, um, stitching. Yeah, yeah. those are yeah. great. Yeah. I love good, them. Good with a pink we, suit. We have more coming for um, for pre fall, just a little teaser mm -hmm. for everyone, but we have some fun colors coming. In a few yeah, weeks. collaboration. We did a whole new, um, oh. it's like a whole new round of new colors, as you saw. Yeah, so beautiful. Yeah. Um, well, I also wanted the guests to know that we are donating a percentage of proceeds today um, to Black Futures Lab. And if you're not familiar with Black Futures Lab, it's an Oakland-based organization, but it is a national organization. Um, and the organization is a nonprofit that works to transform communities by building Black political power and changing the way that power operates locally, statewide, and nationally. So we're really proud to partner with them on, um, on this event. And we look forward to working with them in the future on future things. Right. Um, so okay. I'm just gonna go into a couple of pre-questions people sent in. Um, the first one is, are there any current events or moments in the past year that influence your collection? Well, definitely, I'd say the, I'd say the pandemic was a big one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we we shut down in in March. I guess we we have a farm up in the country in the Berkshires. We built a little studio there years ago, and that's where we do all our designing. Mm -hmm. um, and we go up there every season for two weeks at a time and sketch out the collection. We've got a big table. I sit on one end, Lazarus sits on the other, and we just sketch for two weeks straight. And then we kind of combine our drawings and put it all together. And that's how the collection is birthed. And, and this or that season, the collection that we're showing today, um, kind of we started designing that maybe in April. So we went up there in March, the city shut down. Um, and, you know, the first month was kind of spent just like, what do we need to do to make sure our business stays afloat during this crazy time? It was kind of such an unprecedented time with, un, you know, we, no one kind of knew what to expect. 
So, you know, we were just dealing with business issues for the first month and then come April, mid April, we're like, all right, we've got to sit down to design the collection. Um, and, you know, normally we've got a whole process of research and we'll take vintage and we'll do looks on a model and figure out silhouettes. And for the first season ever, we didn't have any of that because we were just up alone in the country. So we, we kind of sat down in our studio with blank walls and, uh, you know, just our pencils and our paper. And we started sketching and it was really kind of reacting to the moment we were living in and, and, and you know, kind of asking ourselves the big questions of, of what, what do people want in their life in this very specific moment? Mm -hmm. um, you know, a sense of ease and comfort, but also a sense of optimism. Um, those were all kind of things we were talking about. And so that definitely influenced uh, this collection and was a big kind of foundation for, for getting that going. Yeah, yeah. And um, opening, we reopened August, July, mm -hmm. I think it was August. Yeah. And we had, you know, the fall collections were coming in, but I was so looking forward to seeing the spring collections because it was that moment where I think the industry, like all of us in the industry had a moment where we could just take a pause yeah. and sort of rethink everything, how we want to show up in business, um, think about our partners, our partnerships. You know, I, I, I spoke with Allie and Mary so much during that time and really all of our partners. And you really got to see, you know, who you really want to work with going forward. And mm -hmm. you know, designers are really working. Um, so it was really, you know, a time for us where we could reflect and think about, you know, all the different layers of the business, how much product we're selling, how much we're putting out there, um, rethinking about sort of this, this sustainable moment and for us what that means and for us that means really like timeless fashion we have totally. sustainable brands of course we have those in the store and we're working with partners who are bringing sustainable fabrics in but really for us it was really just this moment of okay we want beautiful clothes obviously luxurious pieces but we want to make sure that the pieces that we have in the store the customers will love it it feels mm -hmm. like it will be with them forever um, and stay in their closet and also work with brands that people connect with and brands yeah. that feel like they have similar values to their own, their own personal values. So mm -hmm. all of those things were really important for us as a company and as a brand. And last year we had a moment to, you know, to, to really think about that and slow down. Yeah. During That's such great. A time. Yeah. It was so nice to slow down in such a major way. Like for us, it was the first season for the spring collection that we did not have a show. You know, we've had uh, since since the Parsons days that Jack was talking about before, we've had a show, a big New York Fashion Week show with like, you know, a thousand people, whatever, every single season, um, twi you know, twice a year. It's like we're like on this sort of hamster wheel. And for the first time we were, you know, we knew going into a, a drawing session that we weren't gonna have a show. And in a, in a lot of ways um, that was really freeing because I think you design clothes sometimes for a show that, you know, or maybe a little bit more sort of pushed or editorial or a little bit more kind of photogenic perhaps. Um, like, you know, they're gonna live on a runway first. So you have to sort of impress. And for, um, for spring, because that was sort of, you know, we knew that we weren't gonna do that. It just became more personal. It became more like, you know, it's, it's a pink powder suit that fits like a glove and is beautiful. No bells and whistles, let's just strip it back. Let's just clean everything up. And it was just very kind of, I don't know, it just came from like the heart. Mm -hmm. And and it was just, and we worked on instinct. Like Jack said, we had no sort of references or no sort of preconceived idea as to like what we're gonna do. We just sat down with um, paper and pencil and just drew. Mm -hmm. um, and it was so freeing. And then at, at the end of the day, we wanted to, um, you know, we had to present the collection somehow. So we, we created a book. I'm not sure if you saw the book, but we did a whole sort of hard, you know, like a beautiful kind of book printed in Italy. And, and we sent like uh, that object to everyone that would have come to a show. Um, so it's just like a beautiful kind of document. And we shot it in New York during lockdown, two beautiful models kind of walking in the streets of New York. And I was sort of like, we wanted to capture the mood of, of that moment in time. Um, and, you know, it felt very timely, but you know, in 10 years, it's going to be such a, a time capsule of, of a moment. And we really wanted to kind of just capture that moment in culture um, in a way that felt unique and individual. 
So yeah, it was a really fun project and very different from having a show. We really enjoyed that. So yeah, so going back to like doing things differently, we just attacked the season a completely different way. That's beautiful. And do you think that that will continue going forward? I mean, you know, I crave a show. I love the show. <laughs> Um, but I'm hearing from, you know, different things from different designers. Do you think the way you'll do business will be different going forward? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think it'd be really sad if, I, I mean, obviously it's been a rough year in so many ways, but I think there's been a lot of beautiful things that have come out of this whole moment as well. And just the, the slowing down of things and, and our, for us creatively, like our approach has just been very different. Like we want to create clothes that feel emotional and create desire, but at the same time, you don't want them of so specific of a season that it feels like old news a season later, you know, creating things that really last. And I think that was like one of the big lessons that we took away creatively speaking over this last year. And we really want to kind of carry, we, we are carrying that that kind of ethos forward. Beautiful. Um, okay, so a next question. How do you approach your design process as a duo or team? Um, <laughs> it's a push and pull. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's a dialogue, first and foremost. Um, we're always talking about things and we, you know, we're always together. Um, so I like, oh, remember that car that drove by us last Saturday, like that crazy blue color. Wasn't that color amazing? Like, what do we do? Like, let's pull that color out. Like, maybe that's an interesting starting point for a palette, or we just went on a trip to Kauai together. Um, and that is gonna, you know, maybe influence the next collection. Um, so I don't know, it's just, it comes through life experiences and, you know, we have a shared life. And so we, it's talking and communicating. And, and at this point we have a sort of, unspoken kind of connection we can sort of communicate without really even like talking um so yeah, yeah I'd, say, I'd say the m most of the things we disagree about to to the outside people will just see that as the exact same thing and they're like what are you disagreeing about you're talking about the exact same thing so it's more like in the subtle nuances but the the bigger picture we're just i mean just because we've been working together for so long and we spend so much time together we're we're very in tune Mm -hmm. aesthetically speaking so it happens very organically yeah. and one other question um what are you looking forward to next season next season oh my god i don't even know what people are talking about when they say next season maybe, <laughs> maybe pre fall so that will be next um or, or one that you're designing right now, which I think would be. We're working on spring. We literally just finished our color palette right before we got on this call. <laughs> um, we're working on spring 22 as we speak, which will be shown in September. We don't know how we're showing it yet. Is there going to be a show? We don't know. Um, and that will deliver in February of 22. So. Yeah. Um, and I'm good. noticing that. There's been a shift in the calendar. I, I personally find it enjoyable to have yeah. this shift. I think everyone's in agreement with that in the industry mm -hmm. to sort of bring in product when it's time appropriate, season appropriate. Um, there's a lot of changes with that. I think we'll just continue to see more of that going into next year as well. Totally. Um, like more of a buy now, wear now kind of yeah. mentality as opposed to like buying all your clothes for like a future season, yeah. which seems like a kind of like outdated approach. You know, I feel like people kind of buy things because they want them now. They want to wear them now and enjoy them in the moment. Yeah. yeah. Like for pre-fall, I guess that's the next collection that you're getting in. We definitely approach pre-fall these days with a much more of a summary kind of attitude, you know, sort of winks at fall. It's close, you could still definitely wear it into fall, but you're buying it in May. You might want to wear it right then and there, which is the height of summer. So, you know, pre-fall for us is very, it's very much a transitional season. It works like the little summary, um, but it can definitely take you into fall um, in terms of fabric weights and whatnot. So yeah, yeah, so we're very much into like this sort of, you know, buy now, wear now sort of mentality. Mm -hmm. I will say that this spring collection, I mean, even though I'm wearing, you know, a, a pink suit, I would easily wear this in early fall. Um, yeah. and, you know, much of your collection and you'll, we'll see the models come out. You can wear them, 
you know, nine months out of the year. And in California, especially, we're always in spring and fall um, in Northern California all year round. So it's it's definitely sort of a seasonless collection, which yeah, is totally performs so well for us. And again, I think that's also what women are looking for in their, their wardrobe too. Um, for sure, sure. They live in time um, beyond a season. You could always throw a coat over anything, right? <laughs> Absolutely. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> down coat and you're fine and you're fine um, so i think with that we're going to start the show let's do it all right let's and do I, it okay so, do this so girls are just going to be walking into, onto this to onto the screen is that how we're doing it um, they're going to come in just a second here at spotlight and are we ready for our first Beautiful. You guys are fancy. Look at that. You got a second yeah, camera. My team. This is <laughs> Hi. <laughs> posing and talking. Look at that posing major. <laughs> <laughs> that this is um I think this is like a viscose crepe um top. Um what's pretty about this top is the side it has this whole like button detailing up on the side. You see that? And you could actually unbutton that um, or kind of close it up. And when you unbutton it, we love that because then you can put your hands in the pocket without having to like hike the shirt up. Like, yeah, you would hike the shirt up like that, but when you open the buttons, you could then put your hand in there, which is really nice. And um, you know, it's a great sort of like off the shoulder neckline, um, a little bit of an asymmetry um, thing going on and a bit of a, of a, a volume in the sleeve. Um, it's just like a really easy kind of cool top. And she's wearing it with these sort of like slouchy, um, it's like a silk linen pant with a white tuxedo stripe on one side, on the inside of the leg actually. We kind of reversed it instead of the traditional outside, we did it on the inside. It makes you feel like really tall, which is really great. And it's just this really beautiful fabric and really kind of fluid, all quite easy, but kind of very fashion at the same time. Yeah. I love this neck detail here. And yeah. And there's like this pop stitching detail with like and these little gold buttons like the buttons are all sort of this hand forged um metal buttons um there are these found buttons that we had um, replicated um so there's all these kind of like little bits of, of metal throughout um the buttoning um so it's you know it's a quite just quite a statement top which is really nice and we love it worn back to a pair of pants it makes it kind of um you know less expected there's a dress version of this top which is actually really nice as well um, but this is cool because you can wear that with a pair of jeans or, yeah. you know, you can kind of mix and match or wear it back to a skirt, or tuck it in. There's more flexibility, I guess, in the top. Yeah, it's beautiful. And a great way to wear evening, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a good way of wearing evening for right now. You know, there's sort of a casual side to the moment that we're living in right now. Like the, the dress version of this goes all the way to the floor, which is quite, you know, elegant and striking. Um, but perhaps, you know, it's uh, more limiting on, on, on where you can wear that to. I think the top is a little bit more flexible in, in, in how you can wear it. You know, you could just mix them. It's a white top at the end of the day. It's so easy to wear with any color bottom or any type of bottom, really. You can wear that with a mini skirt if that's, you know, if, if you want to show off your legs. Um, yeah. But we love all the, sort of, all the fabric and the generosity of that and the, and the ease of that. Beautiful. Thanks, Jess. Thanks, Jess. <laughs> Cute haircut. <laughs> and next we have lovely Serena. 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 Sabrina. Sabrina. Serena. Okay. Where are you, Sabrina? <laughs> Serena. <laughs> Okay. She's getting all prepped. Getting, yeah. All right. Judged. Um, what, what is she wearing? She is wearing Serena. Oh, cute. Oh, cool. Yeah, this is this, um, this is a knit top. Actually, the bodice on the top part is a nice, beautiful um, knit rib. And then the bottom part of it and the sleeves are done in this really beautiful uh, gauzy jersey that's slightly sheer and it's um, sheared into the bodice and then it's wrapped on fold and kind of twisted 
but it's really nice and light. It's like a piece of knitwear, but it's also, you know, feels very elevated because it's knitwear mixed with the jersey. It's got some nice details. Um, and then we kind of paired it back to that kind of trouser with, I think this one's got the tuxedo stripe. I think this is the opposite uh, with the black stripe. Yeah. Does this, this one have the black stripe? This one doesn't have the black stripe. This one doesn't. We showed it with the black stripe. We also did these solid and this is, um, I think it's a viscose silk blend. We love adding viscoses to our fabrics. Like we don't love, we don't like a linen just on its own or a cotton just on its own. We like to add some technical blends into the mix because they give a beautiful drape, but then you get the kind of organic quality of a linen or a cotton or a wool. So we're always blending our fabrics and this pant is a beautiful kind of blended fabric of viscose silk. It feels um, modern that way, you know, somehow. We did a beautiful dress, um, kind of that pairs back to this top as well. That's got the knit on top with a pleated uh, gauzy jersey on bottom. And we like this kind of ochre color paired with that kind of sharper um, graphic white trouser. We like it's, one of my favorite tops. it's one of my favorite tops in the collection. It's, it's just so easy. It's, it's you know, the, the knit on top is, is like the silk um, blended knit. And it's really kind of just feels so good against your body. And it, as you can see, it molds to your body, whatever your body is. Um, so it's really easy in that way in terms of fit. Um, and then it's a little bit on pure and like just the bottom is so beautiful how that's sort of just like draped like that. It has the casual ease of a t-shirt, uh, but in something that's very much not a t-shirt. Um, and we love that sort of fuller kind of sleeve. It's nice like that tight little bodice with like the volume at the bottom and the volume at the sleeve. You know, it's always about what parts of the body we want to sort of like shrink and emphasize and what parts we want to sort of exaggerate. It's always just sort of push and pull um, when we play around with silhouette. Um, this is a good example of that. Um, it's a great top. Can we talk about the bags? Um, yeah. The bags, we love these. I love that. Yeah, that's like this, it's kind of loosely based off our PS1 bag, just in terms of the silhouette and the flap shape and whatnot but it's this kind of nice glove Napa, like a kind of glove leather and nice gloss to it. And it's padded. So there's like a kind of batting inside. So we wanted all the bags and in the shoes as well to actually feel like very pillowy, like all the shoes feel kind of slippery. All the bags kind of feel like pillows. You know, we're thinking about this kind of like at home moment and how do we kind of speak on that, but kind of keep it interesting and elevated. So it's kind of a play on some of those codes. And again, the idea of contrast, it's about like the puffy bag and this beautiful glove Napa, quite pillowy, but then you accent it with like tough metal mm -hmm. to keep it from becoming too sort of like dowdy. Um, just that mix of something soft and yummy and, and amazing to hold mixed with a kind of a more sort of like glamorous um, chain like that. Mix. And, and the chain could be doubled so you could wear it like as a shoulder bag bag or you can um wear it cross body as a single so it kind of adjusts to two lengths yeah it's like a good kind of like on the go bag yeah yeah and in the panelists said i wish it came in a larger one it actually does come in a larger one yeah. we have that coming mm -hmm. yeah, we thought of that <laughs> you're the first person that's asked us for a bigger bag <laughs> Everyone, I know, everyone always wants, wants really tiny, tiny bags. Tiny bags. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we like both. We like both. There's something really easy about a small bag we're on the go. Um, but we know a lot of people are, 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 are schlepping stuff around like we do. So you need a bigger bag for that, for sure. But we love, we just love the quality of that bag. It feels very now. And there we go. That's a, that's the the dress version of that top. Um, again, it's that same ne neckline um, where it kind of goes off from like one sort of kind of under one arm to the other shoulder. Um, just like this really beautiful neckline. You know, for us, we think like every woman's collarbone is so gorgeous. No matter kind of no matter what size you are or what your issues you think your issues might be like your collarbone or is always so be, such a beautiful part it's so, so sexy um so we always love exposing that part of a woman's body a little bit of a shoulder a little bit of a collarbone and we love that kind of like little neck band with a gold button it's almost like a, a piece of jewelry somehow you don't even have to wear a necklace or anything it's all integral 
So yeah, it's almost like this, that left sleeve has that little band that just wraps around your neck, like a little mock turtleneck somehow. Um, keeps it from feeling too bare and actually kind of holds the whole dress together. And then, you know, it kind of cascades into this beautiful kind of soft sleeves. Um, the sleeves are actually cut into like a square. So it's a, it's a soft fabric and it collapses and just creates like this soft draping. Um, so it's just like a nice sort of width on top, like a nice strong shoulder line. Um, then like a nipped in waist and it just kind of goes down and it hits just above the floor. We love that length. It's, a, it's kind of a little fancy, but like not gowny at all. Right. Um, you know, you wear the, we showed it with flats, which we thought was a cool vibe. Um, but obviously you could also wear this with a heel and it could be gorgeous. And you can also wear it with a sneaker. I find that with this. Yeah, you totally. Just wear it. It doesn't have to be um, so precious. Like I think it's yeah. just a dress mm -hmm. that you can try. And this would be a great travel dress. This is something that I would bring to market and yeah. I would wear to appointments with sneakers running around. Um, yeah my appointments and then know that I can change a shoe and go to dinner and and feel good totally yeah. one of the girls in the office was wearing it the other day and she had this un, unfastened you know, sort uh -huh. of just like kind of falling and yeah. then she had like a pair of sneakers exactly on um and a big kind of toe and she was like wearing it during the day and it was yeah. you know the, fa the fabric is just like a, a set, it's not a fancy fancy fabric it's like this beautiful kind of dry um Japanese crepe fabric um so it's quite we love this fabric. It's it's super versatile um, from day to evening. There's nothing especially evening or nothing especially day at, of, about this fabric. It's sort of one of these like very much in the middle fabrics, which which we love because um, it, it goes both ways. Yeah, it's definitely one of Look, my favorites. It looks amazing on her. Yeah, it looks amazing. Good with the haircut. It really shows off like the line of the <laughs> of the shoulder. Totally. Thanks, Jess. That'd be great with a pair of earrings too. Just like the little button here and then like the little gold earrings. You have like three little moments. Next we have Serena. This is fun. We should do this more often. <laughs> <laughs> <Totally>. <laughs> right? <laughs> this is a great kind of knit dress. It's like a rib knit. So it's like kind of just hugs the body in this really beautiful way. It's in this kind of sandy khaki color uh, and it's all ribs. It's got a placket down the front. It's almost like a long kind of cardigan dress. Yeah, when she gets close up, you could see the rib kind of detail, all the little fashioning around the armhole. And it's got a slight sheen to it, but, but still like a nice kind of creppy hand to it. A little bit of a bell sleeve. And we just love the ease of like a great knit dress like this. It feels like very right now. It's just how like all our friends want to dress these days. You know, you feel like you're dressed up and you feel elevated and you feel beautiful, but also just totally comfortable, completely, you know, it's just a very easy dress to wear. Yeah. Like to check a lot of different boxes, you know? Mm -hmm. And again, I think you could kind of dress this down with a sneaker. Yeah. You know, you dress it up. Like, I think it's very transitional in a lot of ways. I love the weight of this of this dress because it, it just kind of hugs your figure in, in the right way. As you can see, it's not like too tight, but it kind of shows the body just a little bit here and there. Like her body looks amazing in this. Um, and it's, it's the rib, you know, the rib sort of, um, it kind of clings in the right places and it sort of like releases towards the bottom. Um, like Jack said, it's it's just a, it's like a cardigan dress. It's really kind of like simple, but we can't keep this dress in stock. People, it has people are, weight. and has a bit of weight to it. So it's sort of like, yeah. you know, it hugs your body, it sort of like drapes on your body. But with the rib going this way and the weight going this way, it just does something amazing to your body. Um, and to keep it from being sort of pedestrian, we kind of gave it that, um, you know, not that it's pedestrian, but like just to give it that extra boom. We love that sort of sculptural, kind of bell at the bottom of the wrist. It just turns it into like a fashion piece. Like, you know, you're wearing something that's just not, you know, a, a usual thing. It's sort of like this beautiful kind of sculpted bell um, knitted completely, yeah, integrally knitted into the garment. So it just gives you a little bit of like this extra kind of drama, which is always kind of nice. Yeah. And then at the neck, you have two gold buttons at the neck, which we love just the randomness of that. Yeah. Now you see one gold button there. And, and the bag's just like this great tote bag. It's um, in a raffia. 
and it's completely hand crocheted. Uh, but we liked, you know, we like the, the feeling of a hand crochet. Yeah, it's got this metal um, hardware. I think the little blue stickers are still on it still, so it doesn't get scratched. <laughs> um, but we love the idea of like something kind of crafted and hand crocheted, but then done in this kind of very graphic way with the black blocking on the bottom. Um, you know, the big black leather straps. It's like a nice kind of mix of something that feels quite urban and tough and something that feels a little more handcrafted. That's the contrast fun. of those two worlds is something that's always interesting to us. There's your big bag. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Serena. The girls look great in the clothes. They look really good. Yeah. We did a photo shoot with Serena actually in yeah. the collection. She looks so good. Amazing. Cool. It's great to see clothes, you know, like we see clothes on these like kind of young models all the time that do the show. It's nice like when the clothes go out into the real world and you see them on and just women. It's it's oh, it's right. so nice. When you see that the clothes actually work on on real women, there's something so gratifying about that. And not just like on, on models that just you know makes us feel like we're doing our job. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, cool. This, this is, this is the silk American dress. Um, this is, a, we we're just talking about this dress, Jack. <laughs> yeah, we were, that's right. Uh, we love this fabric. Uh, it's like, it's, it's pure silk. Um, from our favorite mill in Italy. Um, and it's, it's it's hard to describe this fabric. It's almost like a silk twill, like, like an Hermes scarf sort of, but like kind of better. <laughs> it's better for it's, it's better for a dress. It's a slight, slight technical quality somehow, got a little parachute but just this beautiful light silk. Um, and it's sort of a shirt dress and it has these sort of ties. Um, it has a tunnel around the waist with these ties, you can just sort of tie and nip in your, you see, you see the black ties on the side, you could tie it tight and nip in your waist and give yourself a waist or let it kind of hang open and just be easier. It's sort of, it's very versatile. Um, and this print is, um, you know, we develop all our prints in house. We never buy prints from anyone. We have a great art department here at, in the studio. Um, this girl, Amber, who's incredible. And she, um, she does all these prints are hand hand painted by her um, and we help and we all kind of get involved. Um, so it was kind of inspired by our time at, in the country house um, this this summer, really last summer. So it's kind of like this watery, um, I don't know what this is. It's just like this watery abstract kind of print that's a little animally, a little um, plant-like. It just feels very summery we thought. And so we had it developed into a print and we had a print onto that beautiful silk fabric. And we just wanted to cut really easy shirt dresses out of it. It didn't need much with the print and the fabric. Yeah, I love it. This sort of updated shirt dress. Um, the shape is so gorgeous and it fits a lot of different body shapes yeah. because of the adjustable side. I think that's great that you all thought about. Yeah. Detail. We, we love it loose like that. There's, there's a lot of fabric in the back, so it's quite, quite beautiful when she walks the fabric moves really nicely um because of the generous volume you know the sleeves aren't like a normal satin sleeve it's a kimono sleeve actually um there's just an overarm seam and underarm seam there's no kind of satin sleeve um it's, so it's quite a low arm hole um just someone really in the chat mentioned that they're having trouble seeing the clothes i wonder if we should angle the camera down a little bit hmm. um yeah we can definitely <laughs> Or let's see, maybe Jazz can come up. Yeah. Closer. You guys see better? I hope you can see that. Okay. You can see a little bit of, of the print. It's like a beautiful kind of like hand brushy, um, almost animal, but you know, not as basic as an animal. Um, just this kind of abstract, beautiful print. I'm yeah, it's got, it's got almost a kind of feathery vibe. Yeah. And it's, it has, it's white, black, and this beautiful sort of military green, which for us is like a very neutral kind of color. So it's quite neutral in palette because it's like so contrasting, printy, it, it sings. Um, so 
you know, we, we just love this dress. Mm -hmm. It's really easy. Thank you. Right. Nice when they're when they're walking like that side. So you, you really see the the movement. Ball, the movement they're walking. Next we have Serena. This is a kind of uh, knit. This is a knit top and and pant. It's almost like our kind of version of the suit for the season in a way. Although you know we did those pink and blue suits, but we love just the kind of ease of this. You know, it's in this beautiful kind of minty kind of sea foam color, and it's all done in that rib knit, the pants and the top. It's got the bell sleeves like the the dress that you saw earlier. You know, buttons down the front. It's got this little kind of polo-ish kind of collar. And then um, the pants have this nice kind of flare to the leg. Um, and we just love the kind of slim silhouette, the beautiful color green, and just the ease of the knitwear just feels, you know, very today. Yeah, this look is, has been a big editorial look this season. Um, it's being shot on a bunch of people right now. Um, again, this is like one of those pieces this season that we can't keep in stock. Something about the color, I think, is resonating to people. Um, and just like, you know, like Jack said, it's it's like a shirt, but it's also like a sweater. Um, it's It just feels like a really versatile piece and very right now. It's the kind of piece you can wear with a pair of jeans, obviously, that that's going to be really great on you, or with a full skirt, or, you know, it's it's very day to evening as well. We, we like pairing it back to like the matching pant. We love that it gave you this sort of slouchy kind of pajama-y kind of at home vibe. Cool for like entertaining at home. Um, then putting on with a pair of jeans and then going out and, and doing stuff. Um, so I think she's wearing with a pair of heels, which is a cool vibe too. Um, just, we love the longer length of the top with the shorter crop pant. That's always a flattering vibe. Um, and again, with that little bell sleeve, it just gives it sort of this unexpected touch. It makes it feel kind of fashion. Yeah, the color is um, really what drew me to this piece or to these two pieces. Looks good next to your pink suit. Yeah. <laughs> the larger, this is the larger um, version of the puffy of the puff mm -hmm. bag. <laughs> yeah. For all the people. Yeah, and this one, it's more like a um, just opens from the top. It's a big metal snap on both sides and it just snaps together. It's a nice big compartment, and we love that. It just feels like a big kind of puffy pillow yeah exactly um and again the chain you know could be doubled the way she's got it or it could be um lengthened as a single chain and you could wear a crossbody i love that bag it's, it's yeah it's like a big it's like this beautiful luxurious napa all kind of batted so it has like a sort of puffy soft quality which is very much like in the zeitgeist right now it's sort of puffier bags thank you serena you picked out the good looks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love your guys' bye. You did a great bye. I know. Yes, and this beautiful pre-fall piece. Oh, yeah, this is from pre-fall or pre-spring. 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 Yeah, this is from pre-spring. Um, and this is just a great CDC. It's hard to see the color on the screen, but it's this really beautiful kind of teal i'm trying to remember what we were calling this color it was almost like a you know it's like an oily kind of tealy blue kind of color and it's um it's all just in, done in cdc um but it's smocked from like right above the bust to down to the hip uh you can see there's like a little open back detail and um the smocking has um got some stretch to it so it really just hugs the body in the same way a piece of knitwear wood and then the smocking releases at the hip and just becomes like this great kind of easy full skirt uh and then the, sh the sleeves are more like um it's almost like a shirt dress sleeve so it's got cuffs with the with the buttons and you can kind of open it and let them hang or you can button them closed and get more of a kind of blue sawn effect at the wrist um cheek dress yeah and you can see it's got those little hand forged gold buttons going up the sleeves and um, at the center back neck and uh, just like a cool kind of, but easy, uh, great CDC dress. It's super light, like the light kind of goes through it. It's almost like a chiffon um, in a way, but slightly heavier chiffon, so it's not totally transparent. 
Um, it's just so nice that smock in detail because it just fits every, every body type so well, the waist to the bust, and then it just releases into this generosity of, of just fabric um, in, in all the right places, like a nice soft sleeve, a nice full skirt, and um, the body sort of tailored, which is such a nice feminine dress. If you want Great for fall with a pair of boots. You can see the color a little closer if you come towards me. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, on your screen. <laughs> Got the light, yeah. What do we call that color, Jack? I forgot the name of that color. I don't remember. We had a good name for it. I can't remember. <laughs> that, was, that was like a year ago. I mean, we've we've we've, we've worked on so many collections since then. Petrol. You know, from the petrol. From the time we start petrol, yes. Petrol. petrol. Blue. I knew it was something in the oily kind of family. Mm -hmm. Petrol was the name. It's like a navy. Like a greeny teal. navy, kind of dark teal type color. Yeah, it's so good on, on, on different skin tones, that kind of color. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Next we have Serena. The store looks great. Thank you. It's so nice really to be cool. open. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I love that floor, that terrazzo floor. Thank you. So beautiful. Nice. This is a uh, this is a sh a sequin shirt dress, and it's this beautiful kind of chocolate sequin. Um, obviously, you can see it's got this kind of really wet, shimmery kind of effect. But we loved that it's just like doing sequins, but not in like a gown or kind of some obvious way and literally just cutting it in a shirt dress. Um, so, you know, it's all embroidered on chiffon. So, you know, you get the, the kind of opaque quality of the sequin, but you get the lightness and the kind of the kind of airiness of the chiffon since it's all embroidered on that very light fabric. And it just it's very slim, kind of just hugs the body, but not fitted. Um, slightly slimmed in in the, in the waist, but not wasted. Um, just like a nice kind of easy slouch to it. And to us, this is like kind of our version of like quarantine evening, <laughs> you know, that we love the, the, the kind of gloss. We also did it in like a matte white sequin, but we love this, this chocolate, this chocolate one. It's so great. The um, and kind of cool with the powder blue bag. Yeah. Nice combo. It's just a, such a cool dress. Like if you're gonna throw a party at home, That's, like, yeah. like how cool to wear this dress at home with a pair of kind of, you know, house slippers and a kind of a sequin shirt dress like down to your ankle, quite easy, but in this sort of like really luxurious fabric. I don't know, there's something so cool about that. She's wearing, I think she's wearing like the knitted sock shoe. We did like this um, knit shoe, it's like this beautiful kind of knit yarn. And the whole sole is just like this beautiful thin piece of leather. Um, it's, you know, it's an outdoor shoe, um, but it has the ease of like an indoor shoe. We love these sort of stocky shoes. Um, and that whole look for me is just the perfect at home, entertaining house party um, kind of evening look. Um, you know, for us, it's very now. Um, so we were thinking about that when we were designing this like last year, like what would, you know, entertaining at home feel like? right now and you know this is sort of our solution to that yeah it's a perfect entertaining um dress and even i love that you can even unbutton and then actually here and open it up totally yeah. if you want to go a little more leggy you could i mean it just buttons all the way up to front so you can kind of open it to you know different places depending on how much legs you want to expose <laughs> yeah there you go <laughs> And would you would you all trouser um, pair a trouser? Yeah, I think you could totally wear this as like a tunic. I think that'd be really cool. Yeah, with a pair of trousers underneath. <coughs> you know what? They actually just shot this this month's Vogue. There's a big full page um, editorial story um, that, with this dress. With his dress worn over pants, actually. Yeah. Um, yeah, they unbuttoned it kind of all the way to the waist and then like pushed it back with the hands yeah. in the pockets. It looks really cool. Yeah. It's a great way to wear it. And I chose this color. I did see it in white. I chose this color because for, I think for our women, I think it's just a dress that you can wear year round. Mm -hmm. 
exactly. Um, and again, going back to that kind of timeless thing, I think it really kind of checks that box. You know, it's it feels emotional and it feels of this season, but at the same time, I think this is something that will like just kind of live in your wardrobe for so long and feel so timeless. And it's something you could break out and, you know, the seasons or years to come. Yeah, it's an investment piece. It's the kind of thing that if your daughter would have break into your closet 20 years from now, right. she'll definitely <laughs> want to steal this from you. Like it's <laughs> never going to go out of fashion. It's a, it's a, it's a shirt dress, you know, but a, a, an amazing one and, and sort of so unusual. Um, you know, we love that idea. These sort of heirloom clothes. The shimmer, it's really light. I, that's what you don't feel like in these in these Zoom calls, like how light these things are. Like when she moves, you really feel it, the movement of it, and you feel it. Um, you can maybe see a little bit of light through it. Um, but we, you know, for us, the clothes have to be very light this season. Um, nothing thick or heavy or, you know. Beautiful. Thanks, Serena. Cool with the blue bag. Jazz from Free, Free Spring. Mm -hmm. Is this the knit one? Yeah, that's the knit. That's kind of, it's a similar kind of style to the petrol dress you saw before, but this one instead of CDC is all knit. It's this beautiful crepey yarn. Um, and it's, it's kind of mimic smocking, but the smocking is all kind of done, um, you know, what's the word? <laughs> it's like all, uh, okay. sorry? Mm -hmm. Integrally? Integrally. That was the word I was looking for. It's all kind of <laughs> knitted integrally into it. So it's a special stitch to kind of mimic um, smocking. And then it kind of releases. The sleeve kind of feels like almost like a kind of cool t-shirt sleeve. It's got a kind of kimono-y shape. And then if she steps back, you can kind of see that it kind of hugs the waist and the hip and then it releases. And if you step back a little further, you can see the skirt, which almost, um, it's kind of mimicking a pleated skirt but uh, it's all kind of knitted to look like pleats. So it's like a rib that basically kind of sunbursts out and creates the kind of pleated effect. Just a really flattering silhouette. And it's in this beautiful kind of ochre color. Mm -hmm. I love this dress. It's so easy. And it's very much like you can wear this in the daytime for sure. Um, but it has like a little bit of shimmer that yarn. So it's, you could also wear it you know, with a pair of heels for evening. We paired everything back with these sort of like flat boots or flat shoes to make it feel like kind of now and more casual, but it's definitely not the kind of dress you can dress up so easily. Beautiful. I love this dress. Thank you. Thank you. Next we have Serena. Okay. And it's the last look. Oh, one more. We have a couple. We have two more. Two more. So fun. It's fun to see these clothes again. If you, um, would you say the sequin dress would be a closer if you had a runway show? It was your closer for the book. Closer. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. It was the closer. We had, we had the white one, which is like the more, it's a more of a matte white sequin. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, this one was like sort of the chocolatey, sort of shimmery, kind of more glossy one. And we ended, we ended it with, a, I think we ended the book with a, the with a chocolate one, right, Jack? We did. Yeah. 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 And we kind of paired it against like a sun hitting a building um, from like it was a sunset. It was like the sunset in the city and the sun was sort of hitting the side of a building and created this sort of shimmery effect. And it was so beautiful. And we kind of paired them side by side. Um, it was kind of like a nice sort of, you know, and moment. <laughs> moment. Yeah. Does anyone have any questions? Yeah. Out there in Interland? <laughs> Internet land. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, there was a question that came through. Um do you first find the right fabrics for your collection and then design or vice versa? What do you say, Jack? I don't know. I feel like our process changes every season, right? 
we used to pick our fabrics and then kind of design and then we needed to change all the fabrics this season. I mean, we just finished sketching last week and we're picking our fabrics this week. So I, we kind of prefer to, to sketch, figure out the shape and then you kind of find the perfect fabric for it. Mm -hmm. And then after that kind of comes colors. And then after we have our sketches, we kind of hand those off to our pattern makers. They start building twalls, which are like, um, you know, they basically create a pattern out of our sketch and then we just start the fitting process and we'll kind of cut into them, pin them and change them. And sometimes the, the finished product looks just like the sketch. And other times it kind of evolves through the season and becomes something completely new. So the process is, you know, it varies and it's constantly changing. And we're trying to constantly push ourselves with our process as well and change the way we do things just to kind of switch it up and, you know, keep it exciting. Yeah. And that was an important thing that you shared earlier about um, designing your own print. So for um, people who are listening about that process, it, it's, it's, you know, designing your own prints means that you're not going to see that print anywhere. You're not going to see Definitely. it at Target or, you know, or, <laughs> no. or, you know, any of the, any of the, or Amazon or any of those places, um, no. you own the print it's designed exclusively for your collection. So when you're wearing a print, it is the print of the brand and you're not going to see it. And we made it, most of the time we made it ourselves with our, with our, with our, with our, our, our print person. It's like usually like our, our fingers are all over that, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Like, you know, the people that are making it. Um, we work with these great mills in Italy mostly. Um, and, you know, they could pretty much print most fabrics. Um, we like to do um, silk screens. You know, there's an inkjet process that's a little cheaper. A lot of people do, but we prefer the old school one. And you can, how you can tell a tip for people out there. Um, when a fabric is inkjet, which means it just, it's like a paper, it just kind of goes through like these big printers. And it just, it, it just, it coats the top surface. So when you look, when you turn the fabric, you know, when you look behind the fabric, it's usually white. Um, and you can tell that's like a, an inkjet print. And that's fine. Like, you know, if there's a billion colors in a print, sometimes you want to do that because it's impossible to do so many screens um, for a screen print. But a screen print, it's actually old school. You carve a screen and you put it in the fabric and you, you, you silk screen it. And that color absorbs and saturates through and through the fabric. So the prints on both sides. So it's really nice when you like look at the inside of a garment or if there's a slit, the prints on the inside, like you look at those Walmart kind of clothes and the inside is all like kind of white and gray. Um, these clothes, you know, the print is soaked through and through and it's, it's just much better better quality <laughs> more beautiful oh this is so pretty and serena <laughs> oh yeah yes this is a uh tie we do a lot of tie-dye it's definitely like a, a code of the brand and it's something we're exploring in new ways every season and this is a tie-dye uh viscose linen dress so I was talking before about that, um, how we love kind of blending fabrics. We love linen, but there's something about it on its own where it just feels too, I don't know, linen-y. <laughs> you know, there's something about the viscose in it. It gives it a drape and it falls in a different way. And it just feels like more desirable fabric to us. So that's what this quality is. And, um, you know, the whole dress gets completely sewn up in white. And then it gets sent to our uh, tie dyers. It's all, which are all, actually, we do all of our tie dye in California. We've got a great um, tie dye factory in California and everything's completely hand done. It's all hand tied and knotted. This dress in particular, it's quite a difficult tie dyeing technique because you want to do all the tie dye, but the parts that are white, you want to make sure they don't get stained by the tie dye at all. Cause we love that contrast of the sharp white with that kind of artisanal hand done tie dye. Um, so it, it was kind of a very new technique for us that took a lot of trial and error to get it to the right place. And this is just nice and full skirted. It's got that kind of gathered waist and it's got a beautiful little twist up at the top neck. Um, and the sleeves are just kind of these kimono sleeves with darts uh, at the bottom. So it kind of tapers in. It looks nice just kind of falling like that. Or you can also roll up the sleeves, which also looks kind of cool. Mm -hmm. um also we put a, a lot of pockets in our dresses uh and this dress has pockets we like the kind of attitude of um you know just like a big kind of slouchy dress with pockets feels feels like a cool attitude to us 
A, a big full dress without pockets just feels so wrong these days. <laughs> We're trying to put pockets on everything. It's just such a cool attitude when you're standing around or you're waiting or you're at a party, you just kind of want to do something with your hands. Um, so it's just, I don't know, it's just a cool attitude. Mm -hmm. I love, love this dress so much. It's great, this dress. It's great. I love that little back and you know, just like that little spray of, of, of tie. I think that one, that one must have just come in recently, right? <laughs> it did. Yeah. The tie-dye the tie -dye took a little longer than we expected for production. <laughs> I know. We did so many. I mean, we, we rejected so much of the production because there was like little spots on the white or whatever. Like it was so hard. It's, it's such an, an artisanal technique. It's not a print. It's actually yeah. tie-dyed by hand. So it's, you know, it's quite laborious and, and there's a lot of like rejected um, pieces. So you got one of the few really good ones. <laughs> No, I just, I, I love this dress so much. So it's so easy. It, it just feels comfortable and relaxed. And, mm -hmm. um, and just that little keyhole in the back, it's just enough. Mm -hmm. But then you can still wear a bra with it for women totally. who wear bras. You can, I, mean, I guess most wear bras, but you, um, you know, it doesn't feel like you're showing or revealing anything. So mm -hmm. it's modest in that way, but it's still just like a little skin showing um, at the lower back. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Very California vibes, right? It is. Very <laughs> <good>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, Serena. Um, do we have one more with Jazz? That's it. And that's a wrap. The finale. <laughs> the finale. <laughs> that was a good way to end it. Is Jazz, is Jazz still in her outfit? Yes. I'd love for you two to come back. Yes, Jazz and Serena. <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys thanks guys you look beautiful <laughs> oh a little runway action <laughs> you guys are great you guys look yeah. beautiful in the clothes yes. you look so beautiful in the clothes <laughs> good okay, hang out um okay so we're gonna go right into q a and we're just a little bit over um so we're gonna take a few questions yeah and any questions, y'all? Wish yeah. we could see all your faces. I know. We had, we had a few that we went through about the bags. Um, Valerie was saying, loves it, gorgeous. I think it's just a lot of comments, I would say. Um, cool. So thank you again. I oh, love our pleasure. You here, and um, I look forward to seeing you very well, soon. In I know. Hopefully we could do one of these in person one of these yeah. days with all your, your customers. That'd be great. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's um, go to California. Get out of the cold for a minute, yeah. please. We'll take it. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. Um, so for customers who were on and clients, thank you for joining. We really appreciate you spending the past hour with us and just having this intimate moment, um, whether you're at work or you're at home. But um, thank you for being with us and a part of um, and, a, and a part of today. <laughs> thank you guys. Bye thank everyone. You. Bye.